While I release most of the fish I catch, I readily keep some fillets for the table. And when tournament angling, I do bring fish to the scales when required. To help subdue fish, especially big fish, and bring them safely aboard, the tool of choice is usually a gaff. Anglers have used gaffs for centuries. Gaffs are mentioned in literature as early as the mid-1600s. But I must imagine ancient civilizations used some kind of hook on a stick or pole to snag their catch. Modern gaff handles range in length from about 2 to 12 feet. They're generally made from aluminum or fiberglass, sometimes wood, with foam, cork, or nylon cord grips. Choose a size you can work with comfortably from your boat for the particular species you usually catch. Kingfish tournament anglers often choose 12-foot gaffs so they can nail a big fish farther from the boat. Gaff hooks, usually made from stainless steel and sharpened to a triangular point, come in various gap sizes and diameters. Thinner, quarter-inch hooks with a narrow gap or throat of two to three inches work fine on smaller schoolfish. But for trophy dolphin kings or tuna, anglers need hooks with a three to five inch gap made of half inch diameter steel. To properly gaff a fish, first control the leader. Prepare to gaff behind the fishing line. Using smooth movements, plant the gaff into the fish's shoulder, behind the head but in front of the dorsal. You want to gain control of the fish without ruining the fillet. Lift strongly to plant the gaff, then keep coming. Lift the fish out of the water and into the fish box in one motion if possible. Now, ice your catch and sharpen your fillet knife. Nothing beats fresh caught fish for dinner.